Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you an effect that you can use in Premiere Pro to really quickly and easily remove noise from your video footage or the audio in your video footage. Now I've done something similar to this before. It's using a, a slightly outdated effect. This is the denoise effect with Premiere Pro CC 2019, or at least one of the later versions. And it's super quick and easy to use. So I'm gonna jump into the screen now. I'm not, not literally into the screen, but I'm gonna hand over to other Dan, who is gonna explain exactly how to use this effect. So uh, Dan, over to you. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop. No, 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 no. We've, we've done the intro. We've done that bit already. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, which bit did we get to? <laughs> so we've done the intro. We've done the like, hey, you're watching Dansky bit. And now we're ready to just jump into it. Right. Okay. Okay. So we're now in Premiere Pro and I've recorded a short clip here. Look, I'm in Premiere Pro. Woo! and I'm gonna play the clip and you're gonna hear some noise. So I've got like a, a light in here, a big, big soft box and there is a fan inside the light. It makes quite a lot of noise and it does get picked up on the recording. So it depends on the recording equipment you're using um, in terms of microphones, but also things you've got in the room that might be making more noise than you'd like. So I'm gonna play that recording now. We're just gonna have a listen to the noise. Then we're gonna have a look at how we can remove it. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, you can hear that noise, right? Like, whoo, that is a lot of noise to have in a shot. And we don't- Dude, what are you doing? You're talking over the noise. Like the people watching need you to be quiet for a second so they can actually hear the noise. Whoa, all right, calm down, dude. Like I was just explaining to everyone like about the fan and the noise. Yeah, I get that. But like the people need you to be quiet so they can hear the noise. You understand that, right? All right, fine, fine. I'll just sit here quietly then. Fine, I won't see anything. No, don't be like that. Come on. Oh, sorry, is that annoying? Yes, that's incredibly annoying. Ginger. Now you're just being childish. Fine, whatever you say, you're the boss. Boss. <sighs> what are you doing? You just threw a book at me. You can't throw a book at me. I'm trying to do a tutorial here. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm done. I've had enough. I draw the line at having things thrown at me whilst I'm recording a video. You can do this on your own. Oh, okay, so he's finally gone. We can now listen to the noise and get on with the actual tutorial. So let's jump back into Premiere Pro and we'll just, we'll just trim this bit out here. So we've got some noise isolated on its own without him rambling on. And I'll just zoom in here. And you can see this has got a bunch of effects applied already. So I'm just gonna remove all of these and then what we can do is go down to the effects panel down here I've got mine in the bottom left if you don't see yours just go up to window down to effects and you can customize your workspace however you like and then we're going to do a search here for D noise and there's lots of different versions we've got D noiser you can see that's obsolete we have adaptive noise reduction which is something that is a little bit older and I did in a previous video, but we've also got D-Noise, and this is part of the later versions of Premiere Pro. So if you're on 2019 like I am, then you should have this one here. Uh, but I'm just gonna play through the audio without any effects applied first so you can hear it and listen to the noise. And I'm gonna be quiet this time as well. So here we go, here is the noise. Okay, so we can now use the denoise effect to remove this. So let's go back to the beginning. We'll grab the denoise effect. We'll click and drag this onto our audio on the timeline. And you can see it pops up here. We can click the little arrow. We can twizzle that down, twizzle this down as well. And we've got two sliders, amount and make up gain. So you can adjust these and you can actually hear the difference on your audio while it's playing. And you can quickly and easily turn this effect off and back on as you're playing so you can hear it. So let's go to edit. And then we've got a couple of presets here. We've got heavy or light noise reduction. You can adjust the gain. You've got the processing focus. You don't need to worry about all of this stuff. We're just gonna keep this set to focus on all frequencies. You can of course focus on the lower ones or the higher ones. We'll just keep it simple. We'll keep it here. And you can adjust the amount of noise reduction. So for me personally, I like to hover between 10 and 15% because the noise from this fan 
isn't massive, but it's enough that it gets picked up. And when I hover around 10 to 15%, that's usually enough to remove that noise from the footage. So when I'm quiet, you don't hear any kind of noise or muffling or anything in the background. Now, depending on your setup, you might need to go higher, but the higher up you go, the more noise it's gonna remove and the more silent it will be when nothing is playing, but you will get to a point where it starts to affect the audio quality. So for me, my rule of thumb with this is go as high as you need to in terms of the amount, but when you kind of hear nothing and it's silent and you're happy with it, just don't go any higher unnecessarily. So we'll give this a go now. I'm gonna play through the clip. I'll start with no denoise effect applied so you'll hear it with the noise. And then halfway through the clip, I'm gonna turn on the denoise effect and hopefully you can hear the difference. So let's go back to the screen and then we'll turn off denoise. And when I get to this midpoint here halfway, you'll see me switch it on and you can hear the difference. And I promise I'll be quiet this time, unlike other Dan. Okay, let's give it a listen. So hopefully you heard the difference there. It makes a huge difference to me. I use it for my videos all the time. Uh, there's lots of different ways you can reduce noise. You can jump into Audition and do it that way, but this is a really quick and easy way to do it all within Premiere Pro and you can save this as a preset so you can reuse it if you do videos in the same format. But there we go. I hope this tutorial was helpful. As always, guys, if you've got any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.